Hello everyone, so I'm back after being off from my YouTube channel for a long time. I was busy like doing some stuff, dealing with some stuff. So yeah, I'm back again with new tutorials. So in today's video, as mentioned on the title and description, we will be working with Mapbox and React Native TypeScript, of course. We will be, uh, so in this part of the video, of the series of the videos, let's say, I'll be just doing a map with a marker and on the next parts we'll be doing like, uh, let's say, navigation using uh, users real-time geolocation and much more. But yeah, let's begin with basic steps. So, let's begin. So, the first thing you need to do is to create a new React Native project so you only have to do is type this pretty command but first you need to install the react native CLI so install the react native CLI and then you type this you type this command but don't forget also to mention your project name so here is our app after we launch it and here is our code this is a blank react native project and the next step you need to do is to install react native mapbox so you have to use this package right here you have all the installation here everything you need to know about this package it's very simple so you only have to type this command npm install dash dash save at react native mapbox slash maps and then there are some basic steps that you need to do if you are working on Android since so sim, since I'm testing it on an Android phone I'm ju I just followed these basic steps so here I am I'll go to Android build.gradle and here it is so I just copy it and paste so this is the key you don't have to copy it since I'll be refreshing it so you don't have to do it you can create a an account on Mapbox for free you just have to register for it it's for free and you will have like uh, the ability to use the maps and you'll have 200,000 requests for free of course after that you need to pay so yeah so it's very simple here here are my keys so again you don't have to copy it because I'll refresh it so yeah and let's begin so this is our app i just have the react native mapbox library here installed is the only thing i have here so it's a new project there is nothing special about it and before i i start coding you have to install the es7 plus this will allow you to to write snippets quickly instead of writing the whole code so here is a simple example I don't need this because we will be working on a new project so I don't ha have to be working with this the only thing I have to do first is type rnfe and he will generate us the whole code it's very simple so this is the first step you need to do so if I save you see my app I just I, I just have the text here the text tag which is app so it's very simple if I if I type hello world it will display hello world it's it's simple so the next step we need to do is to import our I don't need this is to import our mapbox library so in order to import it we just have to type mapbox gl from at and the name of the library that's all very simple and then we have to access our token and some other parameters you don't have to I won't be talking a lot about it in this video because our main goal is to simply create a map but yeah you just have to type these lines of codes set access token and you have to pass your token here and my token for example 
I'll just have to copy this one here just copy yours you don't have to copy mine because I will be changing it and then we will type again my box gl dot set connected I'll be putting two here again my box gl dot set telemetry enabled telemetry enabled I don't know if I spell it right or not we will put it false here and then again mapboxgl.set well this is very important and we will put mapbox there are a lot of alternatives there is my my believer there is a lot of alternatives but today we will be working with mapbox so yeah so after that we have our view we will sell it and we will type styles dot container but first not style sheet but styles dot container but first before we continue that part we need to create our styles here so in order to do that we import style sheet which is responsible for creating our styles that we will be using and we will mention container here and we will just put flex1 that's all for the moment and this typo it's styles so the next the next thing we will also delete this text tag here and we will be working on our map box part so the first thing we need to do is to import my box map view and pay attention it's not a self closing tag so you don't have to just pay attention on that part because a lot of people are missing it and then they have like errors and they get like uh... so the next thing is we need to import styles for this map and it will be literally the same as the container so we'll write map flex one that's all and then we have some like basic options that we need to mention here zoom enable for example there are a lot of other options but we will be putting like the most basic ones that we will be only using it in this video on the next videos we'll be using a lot of features a lot, a lot of options and so yeah for the moment let's just focus on the basic stuff and the most important part is the style URL the style URL is literally I will make it simple it's literally the map style that we ha we will be using it there are a lot of types and this is a good the good thing about my box you have a lot of options here you have map box streets you just have to copy this it's very simple we have map, map box outdoors map box light dark satellite satellite streets navigation day and also there is the good thing about map box is you can create your own map so for example i had a project and i created a 3d map and i integrated it in my react native project so for example let's take this this uh, example it's a map but contains like let's say 3d buildings you see and I'll show you this example but first let's just choose one basic example for for the moment I'll just choose the first one the random one and just paste it it's very simple and we'll also add rotate enabled equals to two this is everything for the map but we are not done yet we need to set the camera because it's very important to set the camera okay and yeah I mistake it's self-closing tag let me adjust this 
and then we have some basic options too so the first option is the zoom level you can just play with it it really depends on your needings for example for me I just need like the zoom level to be let's say I don't know 15 maybe maybe you can do more or less and center coordinates is where your camera want where you want the camera to focus on which which part of the map so here you have to specify the coordinates of your map so in order to do that you need to mention the longitude and latitude so I will choose this these numbers right here values 86389 so yeah the pitch the pitch and I will just explain this later because we need to do we need to see the map first in order to understand this part once we we have our map on our emulator I will I, I will I will focus on every part of these options I just wrote here and then we have like animation mode which I will set to fly to it's like a sur an animation that allows us like it, it creates some sort of animation like when you want to focus on a country it, it does like a small animation we will see it just after these and animation duration also I'll set it to 6 seconds which is the equivalent to 6000 milliseconds and finally we have to display our marker and it is named pointer point annotation sorry point annotation and it is a self closing tag so so we, what we have to do is to specify the id and then we have the most important part which is the coordinates of the of this marker it's coordinate not coordinates I'll just copy this I'll just you can play with these values I don't care so yeah so we have an error here property should is missing so oh, okay I'm sorry so this will be like not closing tag but we'll have to just put a view and here for example you have the ability to to put anything inside this point annotation you can replace it with an icon for example instead of this view you can just like instead of putting like self-closing view you can just open a view tag and you put an icon inside of it or an, an image so instead of the classic point annotation that will be displaying it just after uh, a few seconds you can just display an icon or a customized button or anything you want actually you can do whenever you want I'll just let you do this by yourself or maybe make it as an exercise why not just replace the random or the classic point annotation with an icon or with an image or anything you want so yeah normally we finished everything so now let's see what we will be having here okay just let's ignore this for the moment it's blank yeah here it is here is our map yeah let's ignore this for the moment here's our map and yeah everything seems fine this is our marker and the pitch okay I let's see uh, okay this is a this is an order that happens so ignore it for the moment should be fixed fixed later so the pitch if I remove if I remove remove this attribute what will happen so the pitch is like uh, doing like uh, how can I say it inclined map so if I put it back and I put for example 70 look what will happen sometimes get stuck okay maybe I need to refresh the project that's 
because we have we have wrote a lot of code and probably that's why it is not working very well so yeah you see the difference it's there is a, a big difference between when you remove the, the that attribute pitch and when you put it back so I will remove it and see what will happen okay still we are having some issues with the emulator yeah sometimes it gets stuck back mm, I'll put it back okay I'll put the, I'll just choose 60 yeah it happens sometimes but yeah you understood what 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 does it actually inclines the map so now I'll show you another thing we talked later earlier about the customized maps so yeah I want to for example display this map for example it's it's much better it, it looks like uh, a 3d map when I zoom in so let's try so if you want to integrate it you just click on the in these three dots and you have here like this small variable you just copy it and you paste it here you have a lot of options actually I just showed them earlier so and yeah you just paste the code and look at this beauty we have we literally have a 3d map which is very very beautiful and the good the other good things that you can play with uh, the colors of the buildings I chose the, this royal blue or the marine blue but you can play and manipulate uh, a lot of things actually the colors you can ju just sh change the color and the good thing also is that it updates immediately so if you change it here and you refresh your app the map will be updated automatically you can also like do a 3d terrain and yeah you have a lot of options actually you can just manipulate this by your own and again you can just uh, take it as an exercise for yourself you can just play with these and see what will happen with with your app so yeah okay let's refresh it because I lost the pointer and see if we will st will be having the pointer or not okay here is the pointer just ignore this it's uh, a warning and here it is it is very beautiful I just like this type of maps when you have like 3d buildings especially when you are building like a navigation or a tracking uh, application for example for orders or uh, something like that it's really uh, it's really practical and uh, much better in terms of, of design especially with map box look at this you have all these buildings right here it's very beautiful I like it to be honest I just like it okay here is the pitch it's working actually you see this is what I was talking about the pitch will incline your the map for you so here you have like you see it from uh, yeah you got it actually and if I change this value to 60 this is what will happen it does like some sort of inclining the map which is much better than the ordinary map display I I, I just love it if you if you are if you don't like it you can just remove it it won't it's uh, an optional attribute actually so yeah so this is all for today's video I hope you learned something new I hope you liked it so the next tutorial will be will be uh, doing live tracking navigation using the user uh, geolocation position and uh, maybe in the future we'll be doing like some sort of pyramid pedometer like calculating the user steps depending on his uh, uh, user uh, on his location and displaying it on the map and then why not why not maybe we will be working with firebase or another like uh, stuff so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video yeah maybe i lost some skills in editing or something but yeah still and yeah, 
So see you on the next video. Bye.